It's not even been two weeks since my last scrapping update video, and already the situation has changed, as the pressures of 2020's unprecedented cruise pours starts to take an even greater toll on global cruising. Sadly, but not unsurprisingly, older cruise ships are bearing the brunt of the pandemic, as cruise lines sell off their older ships to try and stem the losses, or in some cases, cruise lines have collapsed entirely. But before we get too far into the video, if you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. In my last video, I spoke at length about the imminent scrapping of the former CMV cruise ship Asta, so let's start there. You'll probably be aware that CMV collapsed earlier this year, and in recent weeks, the fleet of ships that were operating for the brand have been sold off. While some of these ships, such as Magellan and Columbus, have been spared from the scrapyards, presumably to sail another day, the Asta has now made her final voyage to the beaches of Turkey scrapyards. The Asta's final resting place is in the shadow of the remnants of the cruise ships that have been scrapped in Turkey. This includes the Carnival Fantasy, the Carnival Inspiration, the Carnival Imagination, as well as Sovereign and Monarch. Sticking with CMV's former fleet, the situation for the vintage cruise ship Marco Polo is a little bit less clear. While there has been much speculation that the ship will end her days at the scrapyard, she is currently en route to Dubai. The ship is being offered for charter. I'll leave a link in the description below if you have a few million lying around. And while there is some chatter that she'll become a floating accommodation ship once arriving in Dubai, the mixed messages surrounding the ship make it difficult to predict what the future holds for one of the longest serving and most loved cruise ships in the world. The Grand Celebration is another cruise ship that enthusiasts are watching closely. Built in 1987 as Carnival Cruise Line Celebration, the ship later sailed for Ibero cruises as Grand Celebration between 2008 and 2014. A brief stint at Costa, where the ship was refurbished but never entered service, was followed by a new career at the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, a small brand based in the Caribbean, with the ship sailing here as Grand Celebration between 2014 and 2020. The pandemic saw Grand Celebration laid up, along with pretty much every other cruise ship around the world, I've made a video about the laid-up cruise ships which you can check out in the description or the info card above. After much speculation, the company confirmed the ship has been sold, although details of the buyer are not forthcoming. At the time of upload, there is speculation that the ship will sail to India for scrapping. Though this is yet to be confirmed, the ship has set sail from the Caribbean bound for Port Louis in Mauritius, which would be a logical refueling port en route to India. Another older cruise ship that will likely end her days in the Turkish scrapyards fairly soon is the Morella Dream. She was built in 1986 as the Homeric for the now defunct Home Lines, but is better known for her time sailing as Westerdam for Holland America Line. Sailing with Holland America between 1988 and 2002, the Westerdam undertook a lengthening refurbishment re-emerging vastly upgraded in 1990. As Westerdam, the ship hit the silver screen in 1997 as the location of the comedy movie Out to Sea. So if you've seen that film, you'll have a pretty good idea what she looked like inside during her Holland America career. Between 2002 and 2010, the ship sailed for Costa Cruises as Costa Europa before joining the Morella fleet in 2010, which was then branded as Thompson. Renamed Thompson Dream, the ship's name was tweaked to represent the new Morella name in 2017. Like all the ships I've spoken about in this video, her cruises were cancelled in March 2020, and she's been laid up in various European ports, most recently in Croatia. With Morella now focusing on their newer, larger ships, the Morella Dream has left the fleet and has been removed from the company's website. She has since sailed from Croatia bound for Greece, presumably for destoring, in a move that echoes what happened with the other ships that have ended up on the scrapyards in Turkey. This is all very sad news for those of us who enjoy cruising on vintage or older cruise ships. 2020 will leave a lasting impact on the cruise industry, with many of the older ships being withdrawn, leaving a younger fleet of ships to resume sailing, hopefully sometime in 2021. Now, if this is all seeming a little bit depressing, particularly in the lead up to Christmas, or if you're missing cruising, then perhaps I can help. We have two beautifully created coloring in books, which make a perfect Christmas gift. The Cunard coloring in book traces Cunard's 180 year history in both historic and contemporary coloring images. Each are accompanied by short historical blurbs. The P&O coloring in book is great for anyone who has traveled with P&O cruises, both in Australia or in the UK as well as those who have sailed on historic piano ships like Oriana and Canberra. Both of the books are available on Amazon and also other bookshops around the world and I've linked to them in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. 
If there's any vintage cruise ships that you're worried about or that you enjoyed sailing on, please let me know. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to give it a like and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Thanks once again for watching and when it is safe for us to set sail again, I hope to see you on board.